Welcome to the show that delivers quality Oregon music straight to your living room. As always, I am your host, Philip Pompetti, and this is Locals Live. Thank you for joining me here tonight on Locals Live. I am here with Eugene Bass singer-songwriter Matthew Edward with his first song for this evening, Breaking My Back. I was trekking filthy roads When my hourglass had shattered and covered me in the sand Blamed everyone but myself Karma came and gave me hell Now I'm that marble block Chiseled into who I am From breaking my back Facing the parts of me That I never could stand From breaking my back I'm learning the ropes And hopes they hang up my past Rain and radiation now within the clouds Pouring down those toxic tears that come from those angels of death who cry We made it through the muck and grime and my life's all I call is mine Somehow they found out how to take that from me every time From breaking my back Facing the parts of me that I never could stand From breaking my back Learning the ropes and hopes they hang up my past Breaking my back I'm breaking my back I'm breaking my back I'm breaking my back, I'm breaking my back. Yeah. Don't work hard, they'll bust your chops If you give back, they'll keep the profit in this land, pursue your dreams, enjoy the spoils, but don't mind me. Drink the poison, breathe the blood of earth until her heart gives up. The cradle could be our new grave, a wombs a tomb once all else fails. A little stranger ex's house burnt down to today It's a coincidence Dixie's home is now up in flames and looks the same He said I can see the ground shrinking beneath your feet Well you're better off dead or if you get a disease Cause if you're burnt by me I can end it for you What well, feels like a breeze to a fire is fuel I don't really care which way the wind blows All I know is you gotta go to the west coast Run away now in a trail of smoke She said alright I'll go. I don't really care which way the wind blows All I know is you gotta go to the west coast Run away now when the trail is smoke She said, alright I'll go but don't believe In everything you hear Dixie's fire's not burning me 
When they ask what happened They'll say she lost her head Struck a magic She left her ex for dead And said it's not her fault Oh, it's not her fault Oh, who's lighting Dixie's fire? Bars, it's arson, Dixie. If you burnt this city down, indeed, and maybe I could end up in a prison too, just for being somewhat associated with you. And I could take you across the state line, help you evade all your crimes. But the deputy could track us down within a couple of minutes of being in town, saying I could see the ground shaking beneath your feet. Well, you're better off dead or if you get a disease, cause if you're burnt by me, I can end it for you. What feels like a breeze to a fire is fuel. I don't really care which way the wind blows. All I know is you gotta go to the west coast, run away now. In a trail of smoke, she said, All right, I'll go. I don't really care which way the wind blows. All I know is you gotta go to the west coast. Run away now in a trail of smoke, she said, All right, I'll go, but don't believe in everything you hear. Dixie's fire's not burning me. When they ask what happened, they'll say she lost her head, struck a match, and she left her ex for dead and said it's not her fault. Oh, it's not her fault. Oh, who's lighting Dixie's fire? Struck a match and she left her ex for dead and said it's not her fault. Oh, it's not her fault. It's not her fault. Oh, it's not her fault. Who's lighting Dixie's fire? Fire. I'm here with Brennan Lovejoy and Matthew Edward from the band Edward. Guys, thank you very much for sitting down with me this afternoon. That's our pleasure, man. It's great to be here. Now, Matthew, you started off as a solo act a number of years ago. Is that correct? Yep. What was the, what was the move like going from a solo act performer, performing by yourself, to kind of gaining a band and making that transition and having to work with other people? Um, a relief, above all else. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's fun pulling the weight and everything, writing songs yourself. I mean, I still write the songs myself, but... I think Mick Fleet was the one that said, uh, you know, you can you can make this music yourself, but you'll be a much happier human being if you play with other human beings, and I absolutely believe in that. In the beginning, it started with just me, just because I was, I mean, we, we had a band in 2009 called Reclaiming Jane, and uh, Jason, too, our bass player, is not here. And we started a band, and that ended up just kind of disbanding, because we were young, you know, naturally. And then over the last couple of years, I was producing some hip-hop albums for my friends and stuff, and you know, but I still was writing songs on the on the side, just on the back burner, just to to maintain that creative flow. But uh, eventually, it caught up to me, and I just had to start making rock and roll music again. Luckily, I had this whole you know chunk of songs that I had been working on for a while, and I ended up calling this handsome man and uh, Jason, and because they were the I mean, there were a couple of first guys I jammed with, and I called them, I was like, we need to get back together and make some tunes, you know, and at that point I'd met Jared, our rhythm guitar player and keyboard player, and it just all kind of came to fruition, like last, uh, what, last March? Yeah, the first. Well, I can't say last March. now because it's, it's May now, so March, yeah. March of 2013. Yeah, it was like late March. Crazy. But yeah, it's, it, it's, it's, it was just natural. I hate to say the word, but it was organic. Organic. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. For unfortunately. But yeah, it was great, though. I mean, it, it you know, you can only do so much as a you know a solo act, and I certainly don't want to just go the rest of my life being a solo act. I'd most certainly rather play music with the people that I grew up with. You know, I've known these guys for years. It's been, it's been too long, but I mean, we have the whole future together, and so it's exciting. But yeah, it's it's been great. Now, Matt, lots of kids have guitars, lots of kids have pianos, lots of kids have flutes, lots of kids have computers. Not everyone gets to be a musician. At what point in your musical career did you realize that? you making music could actually lead to a career, a profession? Uh, honestly, it was all kind of a, it was all a road there. I mean, 
it, it, let's just start with square one. I, I started playing guitar when I was 15, 16 years old. I just picked it up because I needed something. I needed an outlet of some kind. I'd always been drawing and painting since I was a kid. I always had the creative side. But I'd never really found that, you know, that element to life. That I, I just always had this ambition. It was like a, almost like a hunger for something you don't even know exists, you know. And uh, when I was about 16, my mom, she's an angel. I asked her for a guitar and she bought me this cheap Yamaha EG112 with a small little amp, you know. And I just sat in there for like six months and, and practiced and practiced. And over the next couple of years, I learned, you know, piano and drums. And by the time I was 18, I started teaching myself how to sing. The funny thing about that, and I've actually never I haven't told many people this, but the only reason why I sing is because I was doing a Nickelback impression in a computers class. And my friend Chelsea was, you know, I was just doing it like, you're doing the whole Nickelback thing. And, uh, you know, she's laughing, laughing profusely, but she stopped herself. She's like, you know what? Yeah, you're hitting some notes. Theoretically, you're hitting some notes. It actually doesn't sound too bad. And so that, she didn't know until a few years later, but that kind of stuck with me. And, and I started practicing, you know, as a closet singer, you not letting people listen. And, um, eventually, I recorded just a demo on my own when I was about 18. And then I, at 19, I recorded another demo called Voices with my friend Matthew Feltis and Eugene. And I remember I was dating this girl, and she was sleeping on my bed one night, and her and I were having problems, you know, obviously young problems, is, as much problems as you can have in a relationship at 18 or whatever. And I remember I was sitting in the dark, and it was one of the first songs that I had written the lyrics to, the lyricism, before I composed the music. And I was writing the lyrics, and I was like, I've got something good going on here. And I get to the end of it, and I'm like, well, hopefully, you know, I can turn this into a song in the morning, you know, I go to bed, whatever, wake up start writing and, and the song was Never Take Back, which is uh, our single for our first EP and, our and the title track for it. Our first EP is called Never Take Back. And I think the moment that I finished that song and I recorded it and um, just listened back to it and, and I, I think I don't know necessarily know if I had the, the, the gumption to like go, oh, yeah, I think I can make a career out of this. But there definitely was a part of me, you know, and subconsciously or subliminally, what have you, that was at least knew that this is what I wanted to do. The road's blending in with the skyline So the headlights among the stars Make the cars look like they can fly They pass by as I sigh You roll your eyes, we lie awake And wait for the real comets to shine You tell me that your temperatures are rising high And you need to make a move And so you're trying, trying To find a way you couldn't be mine And I'm in a state of disbelief because you're crying, crying With the moonlight as the rain collides And it hits the window It crescendos over the course of the night As I apply my two fingers below your eyes And try to wipe away a couple of tears It couldn't dry Now I'm dodging droplets as I'm walking out to your door And oh, oh I step in the puddle And suddenly my reflection distorts Is it cliche to say at this age If it rains it pours Since I've had inclement weather since I was born. You tell me that your temperatures are rising high and you need to make a move and so you're trying, trying to find out why you couldn't be a man and I'm in a state of disbelief because you're crying, crying. But I don't know what it is about me What makes her think that I could fix her more than anything I'm just your average guy who wants to be free With no more ball and chain and certainly no sharing these treats I hope you know that I hope you know I hope you know So sad. Tell me that your temperatures are rising high and you need to make a move, and so you're trying, trying to find out why you couldn't be a man. And I'm in a state of disbelief because you're crying, crying.
about me Saying you can never make it, boy, in this economy Maybe they could be right, still I dream of me on top of the world While holding you in my arms Keeping the wind blowing, I wake up, I know that I feel Duality draw my heart And scribbly lines, and that's why I never really felt this way before it's like I fell in love with a lightning storm And every time I think that I will be just fine I would feel there's a lot of inclination towards bands these days to lean towards electric guitar, lean towards that heavy grunge. You can, you can create a lot of sound with the amps. You guys have stayed, I don't want to say traditional, but you've stayed off of that electric path. What is it about acoustic that's so appealing and why have you stuck with it this far? Um, it's more exposed. I, I, I mean, my dad told me when I was young, you know, be a man that you'd respect. I respect when I see artists playing acoustic because you're so exposed, you know, and it's just, it's so raw. It's like there's nothing to hide behind, you know, like you say, a lot of distortion and everything. 
I'd say that's a, that's a, that's a huge thing. You know, you can I, we play electric when we play with a full band. You know, shows we're a rock band, but we practice and we we perform in our spare time. I think as as a group because it's easier to amplify or lack up. But yeah, I'd say that it's just best because you know it's a nice and exposed area. Where would you? Uh... Yeah, the thing I uh, I think of it almost as like uh, a foundation and. You know, we come up with a song, and the first thing we're going to do is sit down acoustic and figure it out. And then, because you can always, you know, rock a song harder, but it's really hard to take a rock song and, like, play it mellow, you know? But if you get a good foundation, you start the song off acoustically, you could always, like, spice it up. So the but, translation only works one way? You can't I mean, take no, you can't. I mean, you can take any song. You could take a rock song and mellow it out. I'm just saying that. Or you can take an acoustic song and make it a rock. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but, um, you know, starting out with a good foundation, just acoustically, I think, is it's a good skeleton, solid. You know, and then the distortion and all the other instruments, kind of the meat on the bones, I guess, is, would, would be a analogy. good way to personify it a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I like acoustic just because, I mean, it's the way I write. I write with just me and an acoustic guitar. You know, it's very melodic, very exposed. So we've talked about your touring. You've been all across uh, most of the western seaboard. You're playing a show tonight at Cloud and Killies. Where can we hear more, Edward? Uh, you can go on our website, edward.com, E-D-E-W-A-A-R-D. -E um, or you can go on Spotify, Rap City, iTunes. We have three albums available. Our newest one just came out April 22nd. Um, and you can make a channel of us on your Pandora, too. How'd you get on your Pandora? I don't know. Were you offered, or do you have to go look for it? Uh, you submit. You submit. You submit. Yeah, and we ended up we ended up getting on there. I think it was like it was like two months of being a band. Yeah. We, well, we recorded our EP. It was when we were driving to Boise, right? Right. Well, that was the first time we heard ourselves on the radio too. Oh, and that was the United was. Kingdom radio, so that was fun. Yeah, the first time we were debuted on the radio wasn't even in America. It was in the UK. Just goes to show they have the more rock and roll taste, though they always have. What time does show at Cloud and Kelly's this evening? Uh, 9 p.m. What's after that? Where can we uh, be live? What's our next show? I think it might be Cornucopia. You're going to yeah, be out of town. I'll be going. Cornucopia and Eugene. I'll be doing an acoustic performance there. Perfect. Well, I want to thank you, Matthew. I want to thank you, Brennan, for taking the time to sit down with me this evening. We've certainly enjoyed hearing your music tonight, and I cannot wait to hear more of you guys in the future. I am Philip Pompetti. This is Locals Live. They are Edward. We'll be right back with more music. in her sleeves. She was alone but on her phone with a man that I bet I never met. Out of control, but girl got so It's an unlit cigarette. To think I fell in love with the boot at the dice on the side of a diner crying over a loser that abused her makes no sense to me. Cause so many beauties out here get used by beasts. So I step inside to find her somebody who can lend me a lighter to light her cigarette on fire. Since that seems all she desires. Oh, some maintenance was required So what, she's prettier than gold Far too hot for me to hold I never know where she goes Running away to chase a ghost I've never seen a gypsy quite like this one With a face bright enough to replace the sun She exhaled her smoke Said thanks and hit the road Could we have fallen in love? We never spoke, so I'll never know Spoke so never know. Will I see her again? Doubt it, found out she's pretend. I woke up from my dream, hoping to go back to sleep. Maybe I could revisit the apparition that I made. Inside my head, I swear I never knew that she could be fake. But I promise it, I'll be the one to find her. And we'll have shakes at the diner. Oh, since that seems all I desire Yeah, some maintenance was required So what, she's prettier than gold Far too hot for me to hold I never know where she goes Running away to chase a ghost I've never seen a gypsy quite like this one With a face bright enough to replace the sun She exhaled her smoke Said thanks and hit the road Could we have fallen in love? never spoke, so I'll never know. We never spoke, so never know. We never spoke, so never know.
never spoke, so I'll never know. We never spoke, so I'll never know. Oh, no. She's prettier than gold. She's prettier than gold. She's prettier than gold. She's prettier than gold. So what? She's prettier than gold. Far too hot for me to hold. I never know where she goes. Running away to chase a ghost I've never seen a gypsy quite like this one With a face bright enough to replace the sun She exhaled her smoke Said thanks and hit the road Could we have fallen in love? We never spoke, so I'll never know 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 Unlock that hatch, can't you come back down? You've been up and away for a while now. As you orbit around with no sound in space, I guess telemetry is how we must communicate. Meet a new breed of demons, synthetic love without reason. If you question it at all, they'll accuse you of treason. When will it get redundant to see the good? get replaced ironic thing is that heroes don't get a way to be saved and if you fall i will catch you someday but if i fall would they catch me cause everyone that i know wants to be safe but when they ain't, they relocate to a different place But when the strong are afraid, the weak escape and complain They wonder how I got this way It's cause they made me in America, America It's cause they made me in America, America It's cause they made me in America, America How I miss how it used to be I miss how I used to be A different face in the chair Maintained or remain scared This generation seldom cared To share her true despair And lackadaisical studies We measure morals and money So when dead we're becoming Part of that digital country In the neon lights I see That logic sway before greed Is I remember the way it should have Stayed as it backfired and ricochets. But if you fall, I will catch you someday. But if I fall, would they catch me? Cause everyone that I know wants to be safe. But when they ain't, they relocate to a different place. But when the strong are afraid, the weak escape and complain. They wonder how I got this way. It's cause they made me in America, America. It's cause they made me in America, America. It's cause they made me in America, America. How I miss how it used to be. How I miss how it used to be. Oh, Lord.
Thank you for tuning in to KBVR TV. With us tonight was Matthew Eduard. I am your host, Philip Pompetti. You've been watching Locals Live. We'll see you next week.